pupils from Upper Shirley High are having a day out for a special challenge involving detective work. Teams from local schools have come to the University of Southampton for the chemistry challenge. We've been given a scenario in which a university professor has been poisoned and there are several suspects. Today's challenge is to perform tests to find out who is guilty and how they did it. Are these real forensic tests? Yes, if you had um, a simple salt sample that you suspected uh, was a sample, then these are the sort of tests that you actually do, in particular the flame tests for the metal ions. They also have to interpret their results, and that's all very good preparation for the sort of things they're going to be doing practically at university. Is chemistry always this much fun? Uh, well, I'm going to say sometimes it's even more fun, because you sometimes get to do things with things like card ice and liquid nitrogen. Calcium. Calcium. Okay. How is this different from learning at school? I think this is a brilliant way for the students to learn. It's a much more professional environment, the equipment's uh, a lot more advanced than they might be used to. They're competing against students from other schools, and I think that really focuses their mind. The next one is lithium chloride. We've got the results. The pupils think they've cracked it. Let's see if it's right. OK, so first of all, you have correctly identified who the guilty party is. And checking the rest of the results, you have also correctly identified every single sample. So very well done. Fantastic. Maybe some careers in chemistry in the near future. I'm Alicia. And I'm Samir at the University of Southampton for the, the BBC, BBC News School, School Report. Report.